So Kingswood, uh, we've always considered ourselves a bit different because um, we offer more choice of standard, higher specification. Um, so we do a, a product called Shape Your Home where you can, we have flexible floor layouts, ground floor and first floor, or you can just have the standard layouts. The upsizing of radiators caused by the obviously the air source seat pump output, um, I don't think it would lend itself too, too well with our design and the flexibility of sh our Shape Your Home. A product comes in and we have a discussion about it and um, you know between commercial design construction um, and we all have a have an input and then uh, look at the costs and look at the, the design and how it's put together and then make a collective decision really of whether we think it's something that customers would would go for. Yes I was I was the uh, the test dummy for it so when I saw it I thought it was a good product and I thought the best way to trial it was to uh, to fit it in my own house to see to see what it worked like and uh, it, it works really well um, you, you, it looks just like nice skirting board and it gives off radiant heat from multiple elevations rather than emitting from one point. So now working with developers like Kingswood which obviously produce a superior product uh, to many other house builders and they've adopted it um, because of what it offers their clients in terms of comfort and space saving without having to go to larger radiators. Now at the moment they're still using them on gas boilers at 55 but they are advertising the properties as being heat pump ready which for a lot of uh, house purchasers is an important factor that they're not going to have to um, upheave or modify the house significantly when they do adopt a heat pump in the next sort of five to ten years. So originally um, we've always toyed with the idea of underfloor heating but to do that, you'd have to, we'd have to put it in at slab stage, which a lot of the time, the houses aren't sold, so you'd be removing the choice from the customer. Whereas Thermoskirt, um, we, we have to have the options, the ch customer choice is done by watertight, um, which allows us obviously another two, three months during the build to sell the house, get the customer choices in, so it gives us more flexibility. I suppose the impression is like, surely it can't be that simple. Um, the profile obviously had the feeds behind it which gives the heat uh, but as I got to know a bit more about it and I found you know looked into what the first fix at, um, elements were so to speak and then the second fix elements you know it's it's quite simple in in its principle I suppose which I suppose it needs to be on site because you get the lads on site to buy into it other than you not know, scratching their heads and it not quite working the, the main thing on the air source with radiators especially is that you have to almost double the, the, the output of them. Um, they can be quite ugly. Um, some of the doubles and triple uh, radiators are, are, are quite extensive and it has put a few a few customers off. In terms of cost, we offer it as, as an extra over. So it, it, for us, we, we sell it. It's a profitable product. Customers, customers have historically asked us for no radiators, regardless of whether that's underfloor heating or thermoskirt, and we've never been able to offer it until until recently. Um, the uptake on thermoskirt has been very good so far. I think we've we launched um, two or three months ago, and I think we've sold about five or six plots worth already out of twenty. So it's probably one in one in four is picking at the minute, and and then we offer it on a, a ground floor or a first a first floor or combined. Um, the, the, the customers can can pick it can pick it based on affordability basically. Well it's only taken us 16 years to be an overnight success. Certainly in the eyes of many people we are new, new kids on the block but we've actually been doing this for a long time, 80,000 systems and the like. Well the biggest problem for us is to try and get the developers and the house builders to adopt a product that is fundamentally a bit more expensive than radiators and that's been an uphill challenge for many years until recently when obviously the changes to the future home standards have meant that developers, house builders have had to look at heat pumps for the first time properly and also how they emit that heat into the room. The customer would pay on a, on a five bed house like, uh, like the Forge 5, they'd pay about 5,000 for a ground floor and 5,000 extra for a, for a first floor and obviously we'd, we looked at, we've got our mark up on that as well. Um, once we get into the swing of things, if we can reduce price, I would, I would reduce price in the future but that's, that's all going to come with learning with the, with the trades. So the, the product is um, really good. Um, we have trialled it on a couple of show houses now. Um, that's uh, been 
well received. Um, customers are able to choose different profiles as well, which is great. We've had really good feedback from it. Um, sales have uh, increased since we've, we've put it into the show homes so people can, can see it for themselves. So if, if the thermoskirt is, is sized to run off a heat pump, it's effectively future-proofing your house from day one. Um, even though your, your boiler should last 10, 15 years, it, it, it gives you that peace of mind that in 10, 15 years, when you do need to replace, you can replace with an air source heat pump and it's, uh, there's, there's no other disruption in the house. You know, the larger radiators, I just think from an aesthetic point of view also, and a storage point of view, it's, it was ideally we could um, design the radiators away yeah. with a product such as Thermoskirt. It, it could become standard for us with heat pumps um, because the idea of bulky radiators doesn't sit well with us. We design and build lovely houses. It would be a shame to ruin the inside with big bulky radiators. So I think that, that is also one of the reasons for, for us trialling it in this way and putting it as a customer choice. It gives us a, a soft entry into the market um, for when we do go to heat pumps and then we might just we might just do lock, stock and barrel thermoskirt throughout. Uh, it's great we're working with Kings, but we're working with about a dozen others and indeed we've engaged with two or three of the, the national house builders as well for exactly the same reasons. They've all got the same problems. Who wants gravy radiators and not everybody can have underfloor heating?